Russia's modernized attack helicopter Mi-28 NM will be fitted with a new guided missile with a range of more than 25 kilometers, an aircraft industry source told TASS on Wednesday. At the moment, the maximum range of guided missile used by Russian combat helicopters does not exceed 15 kilometers. A new missile, codenamed Article 305, is being designed for Mi-28 NM. It is intended to destroy armored vehicle and reinforce concrete fortification in the daytime and at night, the source said, adding that one helicopter will carry up to four missiles on each of its two pylons. The missile will be guided by the onboard inertial navigation system. Information about the target's location will be uploaded into the system during the launch. The helicopter will receive information from its own detection system or from the integrated troop and weapon management system. The helicopter's crew will receive a video signal from the missile via a protected communication channel. Russian Defense Minister told State Duma on March 11 that the new guided missiles with increased range have been developed for Russian attack helicopters on the outcomes of the military operation in Syria. On the other hand, TASS has been unable to officially confirm the information at the time of the publication. Mi-28 and M is a Russian gunship helicopter designed to find and destroy the low-speed air targets, tanks, armored and non-armored vehicles, as well as enemy manpower in the daytime and at night in all weather conditions. The first Mi-28 and M helicopter was made in 2009. Being an upgraded variant of the Mi-28 and 900 attack helicopter, it differs significantly from its predecessor. The Mi-28 and M is equipped with an NO-25 radar stations, which makes it possible to do all-around lookout. The upgrade also has a new EW system. In addition to that, the Mi-28 and M helicopter has a modified fuselage and modernized engines, a radio electronic onboard system, and a target site system, an auxiliary power plant and equipment for communication with unmanned aerial vehicles. On March 7, Russian Deputy Minister of Defense said that the Ministry of Defense had a plan to sign a contract for the delivery of first six or 18 Mi-28 and M as soon as possible.